In the realm of Asgard, where the echoes of eternity danced with the flickering flames of existence, there existed a being whose name reverberated through the cosmos. Odin, the All-Father. Odin was not merely a god, he was the orchestrator of destinies, the keeper of wisdom and the wanderer of realms. His visage was one of wisdom etched into every line of his weathered face, one eye gleaming with an otherworldly knowledge, the other hidden behind a patch, a sacrifice made for transcendent wisdom at the well of Mimir. Long had Odin ruled over Asgard, guiding his people with the sagacity born from ages of wandering through the Nine Realms. His throne sat atop the celestial heights of Valaskjalf, overlooking the universe with a gaze that pierced the veils of time and space. But even the All-Father was not without his own trials and tribulations. The roots of Yggdrasil, the World Tree, whispered of a prophecy, the impending twilight of the gods, Ragnarok, where chaos would reign supreme and the universe would face its inevitable end. In the hallowed halls of Valhalla, where fallen warriors found solace in eternal feasts and battles, Odin sat brooding upon his throne. His ravens, Hugin and Munin, perched nearby, whispering secrets from afar into his ears. It was in this moment of cosmic contemplation that Odin felt a calling, a whisper from the runes, ancient symbols pulsating with a mystic energy that beckoned him forth. Guided by the inscrutable whispers of fate, Odin embarked on a journey through the realms seeking answers to stave off the impending darkness. His travels took him to the depths of Niflheim, where the chilling mists of the primordial realm caressed his cloak. There, amidst the icy tendrils of Hell, the realm of the dead, Odin sought counsel from the seeress Volva. Her eyes, milky with sight beyond mortality, met Odin's lone gaze, and she foretold the omens of Ragnarok in cryptic verses. Undeterred by the grim prophecies, Odin continued his quest, venturing into the fiery realm of Muspelheim. The searing flames licked at the edges of his existence as he sought audience with Surt, the fire giant. Surt's laughter echoed through the inferno as he spoke of the cataclysmic battles that would consume the cosmos. Yet, Odin's resolve remained unshaken. He traversed the realms, delving deeper into the mysteries of existence, in Alfheim, the realm of the luminous elves, he learned of ancient magic woven into the fabric of reality. In Jotunheim, the land of the frost giants, he negotiated precarious alliances in anticipation of the looming conflict. As time flowed like a river, weaving the tapestry of fate, Odin's pursuit of knowledge led him to the very heart of existence, the well of Erd, where the Norns, the weavers of destiny, resided. The waters whispered of the past, present and future, and in their shimmering depths Odin glimpsed fragments of the impending Ragnarok. With each revelation, Odin's heart grew heavy, burdened by the weight of knowledge. The inevitability of Ragnarok loomed like a spectre, casting its ominous shadow over all creation. Yet, in the face of impending doom, the Allfather remained resolute, for he knew that even in the darkest hour, hope flickered like a solitary flame in the abyss. Returning to Asgard, Odin convened the Council of Gods, his voice a symphony of authority and determination. He shared the visions gleaned from his odyssey, urging unity and preparation for the inevitable conflict that would determine the fate of existence itself. The halls of Valhalla resounded with the forging of alliances, the clangor of weapons, and the fervent prayers of the gods. The realms braced themselves for the ultimate confrontation, and Odin, the Allfather, stood at the forefront, his eye fixed on the horizon where destiny awaited. The great cosmic clock continued its relentless march, the whispers of Ragnarok growing louder with each passing moment. And, as the appointed hour drew near, Odin, the embodiment of wisdom and sacrifice, prepared to face the end with unwavering resolve, knowing that even in the ashes of destruction, a new dawn would eventually rise. As the cosmic tapestry of existence unfurled its final chapter, Odin, the Allfather, stood tall amidst the chaos, his one eye blazing with a primal fire. 
With a solemn nod to his loyal companions, Hugin and Munin, he marched into the maelstrom, his fate entwined with that of the universe. The clash of gods and giants, the roaring tempest of elemental forces, and the deafening crescendo of battle echoed through the realms. Amidst the cataclysmic chaos, Odin fought with the ferocity of a thousand storms, leading the charge against the forces of oblivion. In the tumultuous fray, Odin glimpsed the inevitable Ragnarok, the twilight of the gods, unfolding before his eyes. As the fabric of reality began to unravel, he raised his spear, Gungnir high above the chaos, a final defiant gesture against the looming darkness. And in that climactic moment, as the cosmic symphony of existence reached its crescendo, Odin uttered a resounding cry that echoed across the cosmos, a testament to the resilience of the Divine Spirit, a proclamation that reverberated through eternity. Even in the face of inevitable oblivion, we, the gods, shall endure. And as the universe descended into the abyss, the legacy of Odin, the All-Father, endured, a beacon of wisdom, sacrifice, and indomitable spirit, a testament to the eternal cycle of creation, destruction, and rebirth.